All right, so I'm going to do single um, Virgo reading today. So I'm going to look at those who are single, which means you're in a situationship, friends with benefits. Um, and it's going to look at your past relationships, what has caused your past to help you with your present, and what your future outcome will be. So for single... Libra. Oh, I'm sorry, not Libra. I keep doing that. Sorry. Single Virgo. Single Virgo. Past, present, and future. Single Virgo. Past, present, and future. Oops. Past, present, and future. Single Virgo. Past, present, and future. So first card is deception and envy. Then we have foundation and achievements, transformations, and stand your ground. So single Virgo. I feel that in your past, you have dealt with people that were deceptive of you in some type of way. So maybe they lied about who they were or really were. And I feel like you weren't able to call them out on their mess, bullshit, BS, whatever. Um, so, cause that's okay. So that's the person that you were dating in your past. I feel like you could potentially still be in and out with this person because your ultimate goal is um, you want to have a family. That's what I'm picking up, foundations and achievements. So you want to have a family, but it seems like maybe every type of person that you get is a deceptive or envious person. So maybe you have something that they wish they could have. Or maybe you envy others because they're getting this family or relationships and stuff like that. And it's just not working out for you. But I think that moving forward, uh, what the universe is trying to tell you is that you need to go through some type of transformation. So that way you can leave that deception and envy. Which is like a toxic type of personality trait behind and that includes either by your, within yourself or someone else that you've dealt with or other people you've dealt with. Um, I think that the universe is calling for you to stand your ground. So you need to speak up and stick with what you want. Don't do stuff or just to keep the peace or to not have any conversation. Like if you know deep down that you can't trust someone call them out on it if they don't change then you need to move along that's pretty much what i'm getting from that so let's go ahead and see what the oracle angel cards energy cards have to say <clears throat> see if it's going to keep this theme of standing your ground and not letting others be deceptive in your future relationship so single Virgo, what is it that, single Virgo, what is it that I'm trying to tell the single Virgo about their past, present, and future relationship? So we have door to romance, strategy, and hostilities. 
So I feel like with this past energy of deception and envy in your relationships, I feel like that created a lot of hostilities to where that made you upset with this person because you kept asking yourself, why isn't it that they can change? Why isn't it that they can't change? Why are they keep doing the same thing? You kept asking those uh, questions and it created a hostility to where it was always just like back and forth negativity. <clears throat> I feel like you kind of are in a, a place right now where you have to utilize your strategy and that goes along with the transformation in my opinion because when you go through a transformation it's something that sometimes you just have to kind of prepare yourself for so I think that's what you're doing because you know that once you start standing your ground a lot of stuff isn't going to fly with you so I feel like you're trying to strategize on the best way that will be less intrusive to you and your feelings and um less interruptive to how you do things um moving forward though i do feel that you will meet someone because it has a door to romance and i think that just with everything that has been said here you just want to make sure that that door to romance is one that doesn't have this deception and envy or the hostility involved because of course all relationships aren't perfect but if it's constant hostility constant deception constant you catching someone or looking at other people people's lives and thinking that they're doing better virgo you're gonna keep putting yourself in this energy that is going to be difficult for you to move away from so let's look at um pull some cards for the romance angels so single virgo past present and future what is going on with your ideas about relationships for your past, present, and future? And past is always important to remember too because your past kind of shapes some of your ideas. And that goes for everyone. But that's really why I feel this is telling you is that you have to make better decisions for yourself so that way you're not in these type of host hostile, deception-filled relationships. So, Romance Angels, what do you have to say about Single Virgo? Single Virgo. About their past, present, and future. Past, present, and future. Past, present, and future. Single Virgo with their past, present, and future. Take All right, <clears throat> so we have playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to, oops, spirit of fun and shine, of fun to shine, true love, this is the romance of a lifetime, make the effort, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So with this playfulness. <clears throat> I kind of feel like this could be a potential reason for your past deception with your relationships. I feel like maybe the other party was someone that entertained other people. And was playful, if you will, with other people. And that's what caused the hostilities because you felt that that was a form of disrespect. <clears throat> but if we're looking at your future, I do see that love will come in because you have the door to romance. Then you have true love. And then you have make the effort. So I kind of feel like this person may not be someone that's just going to come to you. I think this is somebody that you would have to actually go and speak to on your own. That's what I'm picking up from that. Um, also attraction. You are Virgo are a very attractive person. 
Um, the person that you want to be with or will be with is also attractive. So it's just letting you know that there's nothing wrong. You can attract somebody. And I think that the universe is just trying to remind you that you it's okay to stand your ground. That doesn't necessarily mean that you have to get into arguments or fight. But you know that you have to move differently in order to get this true love in your future. My nose is starting to get stuffy. I think I spoke too soon at work. I said I wasn't going to get sick and I think I'm going to get sick. All right. So what is it? a message, overall message that the oracles, that the angels are trying to say to Virgo, single Virgo? What is the overall message? <clears throat> There's an overall message that the angels want to tell single Virgo. Overall message for single Virgo. Overall message. Okay, we're going to take this one. Wow. <clears throat> so we have remember who you are. You are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved. So despite your past and always being in the hostile mode of energy with the person that you were with, it's calling for you to remember who you are. You are someone that's worthy of love. You are someone that is going to have to make the effort within the relationship to get that love that you deserve. And then this playfulness will now turn from your past relationship person playing you to you enjoying the company of someone else and them invoking that youthful spirit in you, that, um, that spark that finally makes you feel like you're loved and appreciated. And then eventually that'll lead to you having a family and a firm foundation with this person and not having any type of issues. It's <sighs> a lot. So <laughs> this is the single Virgo reading. If you liked <clears throat> what you heard, please like, comment, and subscribe. Both negative and positive will be appreciated only because you are allowed to say what you want. Um, but that is all, and thank you for watching the video.